On Saturday, the 21st of January, we had planned to drive from Malone to Tralee and then to Killarney for a walk in the National Park before driving back home to Malone. The most direct route to our destination in Tralee is about 84 kilometers. The distance from Tralee to Killarney is 44 kilometers and the distance from Killarney to Malo is 72 kilometers, altogether 200 kilometers. This is easy to do in a newish electric vehicle, but we took my wife's 2015 Nissan Leaf with a 24 kilowatt hour battery, which recently lost one bar and has a comfortable range of about 100 kilometers when not pushed too hard. So realistically, we would have to charge twice. Our plan was to charge at the ESP eCars fast charge point in Killarney, drive to Tralee, top up the battery there if necessary, then drive back to Killarney and charge again at the fast charge point before or after going for a walk in the National Park. We also wanted to eat dinner in Killarney, so we also considered charging at the standard charge point while we were eating. We left Malo just before noon with 117 kilometers on the gasometer. The temperature was about 9 degrees and our speed was mostly between 70 and 80 kilometers per hour. We arrived in Killarney about 70 minutes later with 37% on the battery after having driven 66.7 kilometers, which meant we had used 62 kilometers to drive 66.7 kilometers. A Tesla Model 3 taxi were charging on CCS, and the other spot was taken by a non-EV. Fortunately, the other driver was behind the wheel, so a short burst of the horn and giving him the stink eye made him see the errors of his ways and move, which meant we could at least charge an AC, thanks to our Type 2 to Type 1 adapter. While we were charging, another leaf came, assessed the situation, and left after a short chat. After charging on AC for about 30 minutes, we were up to 41%, an increase of only 4%, not even one kilowatt hour. But the Model 3 was leaving, so we could finally use Chademo. 17 minutes later, we were at 74% and decided to leave. This time we got 6.4 kilowatt hours. And this is the reason we drove to Tralee. A key is sold to replace the leaf. Fully electric, of course. Getting to Tralee used 40% of the battery, so we had to charge in Tralee to get back to Killarney. While we were test driving the Soul, we used the navigation system to direct us to the nearest fast charge point at the Garvey's Super Value parking lot, which was free at the time. But when we got there in our leaf, a Toyota BZ4X with dealer markings had started charging. So we used our Type 2 to Type 1 adapter again. While we were there, a Peugeot E2008 came and the occupants took a look at the Toyota's charging session. By then he had been charging for over 45 minutes, so he would have to pay an overstay fee, which he probably didn't mind. I was also informed that this dealer had several chargers at their premises, including a 150 kilowatt charge point. So I think he was just using the charge point as free advertising. Apparently we charged on AC for over 30 minutes and get no charge at all. So I'm not sure what happened there. In any case, we then decided to try the other fast charge point that was supposed to be in Tralee at the hospital, not very far away, but we couldn't find it. Based on the only check-in in plug share, which I, to my shame, only read afterwards, it looks like this charge point probably doesn't exist. We then drove back to Garvey's, where of course the Toyota was still charging. It was now becoming obvious that we wouldn't be going to Killarney again this day, so we decided to try a standard charge point. Fortunately, there are several standard charge points in Trelly, and the first one we tried at Mary Street Car Park was completely free with both sides working. It was now a quarter to five, so we decided to do some shopping and then go for dinner. We returned to our car a couple of times. The first time a BMW plug-in hybrid was charging beside us, and the second time a Lexus plug-in hybrid was charging. 
By the time we had eaten dinner, it was almost 7.30, but the battery was back to 100%, so we could drive back to Mallow. We get home eight minutes past nine with 22% of the battery after having driven the shortest route, which was 85.8 kilometers. The total cost of public charging was 12 euros and 15 cents. The moral of the story, if there is one, is to always be charging. You never know if the next charge point will be free or not. I hope you find this video interesting. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.